Alright, what's good people? Um, give you a new tank update. It's been a while. A lot of new stuff. Um, salt and fresh. As you can tell, this tank is no longer up. I'm going to make it into a full-on quarantine tank. Um, just have to set it up. Um, possibly get some way of overflow. Um, maybe drill a hole for this tank. Still undecided, but I'm thinking either that or maybe a smaller tank for some. Still undecided with that too. Um, want to get into building stands for these, like a full solid stand for this whole fresh water setup type deal. Well, technically this is going to be salt water for um, <coughs> you know quarantine just in case. Um, this has just been going crazy with uh, plant life as you can tell I mean there's plants everywhere um, even in the bottom stuff's really starting to come into play all the fish are doing good got a lot of new fish um, those are red and blue Colombian tetras got my uh, black widow tetras um, some guppies some fancy guppies um, a couple other things, some glow tetras and some, uh, I forget the name of these, uh, it's another form of tetra. Anyways, first tetra, wanted to show you the real big update was I finally got the apex going, Neptune's apex, as you can see, got all my graphs going. I still need to calibrate my uh, conductivity. That's that meter right there. Uh, so don't pay attention to the 40.9. Um, this also my pH. You know everything needs to be recalibrated now that I got it hooked up. But as you can see, if you can, I got the vortex hooked up to there with the modes, pulse lagoon, all that. Set on the timer. Got all my stuff hooked up running good. Um, this big white screen is for uh, live video so eventually I'm planning on getting some live video feed into that. Um, I'll show you the tank. Um, also got the... <coughs> I'll show you what's going on. Uh, actually I have to turn it on. I can turn this one right here. Here, of course, is my control. This one. Boom. Okay, so got the GFO and carbon reactor right here that's hooked up into the apex. Uh, everything's right here which that you really can't see so let me shine a light up to everything. Okay, got my brain right here. Got the PM2 right here that reads the salinity. Got the WXM right here that controls my vortex. Got the battery back up right here for the vortex. Got my auto top off water level controller from Tunzi right here. Um, of course the top off systems in the sump uh, at the end part where the motor is. Uh, also I have two dosing pumps hooked up for uh, calcium and alkalinity. Um, and then also up here is the LSM for the moon lighting. Um, have a cord hooked up uh, off of here normally just to hook up any uh, extra cords and also it hooks up into my bus bar or energy bar from my bus bar right here that's just extra protection you know it has it's grounded and lets me know it's protected same with this one that hooks up my lights um, my auto top off and uh, Another cord, I believe, to the, the lunars. So that's basically it. I get two 
uh, basically CFL, CFL, CFL bulbs, excuse me, uh, for my uh, mac macroalgae, my uh, Cheetomorpha, uh, get some live rock in there, and some rubble going on, filter pad, protein skimmer, uh, definitely needs to be clean, as you can tell. And that's basically my sump setup. And then in my tank, I just recently got some new live rock. Of course, here's the Vortex pumps. There's one. I still have these guys in there. And here's the second one. I'll give you a good shot of all the live rock that I have in here now. It's really filled up. That guy's doing good in there. Ended up getting a, a clam in the whole process. Or some kind of LPS coral. A lot of brain corals or brain sponges on here. Um, also this branch coral. I think it's also an LPS type coral. A soft, soft coral. Um, <coughs> Hammer's doing good. It's starting to really spread out and uh, new growth is coming in. Some polyps next to it. Mushrooms are really starting to take over. Um, torch is doing good. Uh, really loves the current, you can tell. It's back and forth motion. I got it on pulse. I'll get to that in a second. But um, Got a lot of stuff with this live rock. Feels Tons of different, you know, things from sponges to uh, other types of little invertebrates and stuff in it. Uh, bristles, little baby bristle stars and stuff that will clean through your rocks pretty much. Uh, colorful worms. I saw these one worms that were just changing colors from like these purples and greens. It was just beautiful. Um, you can feel all of it. I'm going to replumb eventually. Um, also put a screen in front of this, like a comb. I got a comb thing in the building um, that I'm gonna like silicone onto there. And also, I want to put a screen on here. So I want to really replumb this to like where I want these tubing, so it's not in the way. Also, because I notice that there's light reflection going on from this pole down to here onto my rock and I don't want it to cause anything, you know, like different lighting um pars, you know. I wanna keep it all even evenly pard. But uh everything's going pretty good. I'm letting this rock settle, gotta do some water changes. So really let the tank basically recycle again is what I'm doing. Um Hopefully my fish will be alright. I don't have much of a livestock, so it's not like I'm really going to miss out if anything. Um, that basically wraps it up. I have my pumps right here. They're on anti synth mode. So on pulse at 40%. So they're ramping. Got my lights from AI Soul. Uh, aqua Illumination Souls is what I have. I'm um, thinking about getting some Vegas, putting two Vegas, one right here and one right here, um, to really just set it off uh, and have really good lighting in here. Um, waiting for the wireless adapters too for these guys to, uh, you know, basically adapt into here and I can plug this thing anywhere I want and control it. But I just want it for the wirelessness, because eventually you could hook it up into here and then have it shoot to my computer, um, which would be awesome. I can set everything up on my computer. Um, I'll give you a shot of my dosing pumps and where my auto top off is. Excuse me for being quiet. It's sleeping. But uh, this is it right now. I normally have other buckets here too. 
This is my calcium. This is my alkalinity. How they feed off of here. Can you feed the dosing pumps? I'm sure you guys have seen the pictures. Um, their bulk reef supply. Uh, here's all my additives for it to make my calcium, alkalinity, magnesium. Got magnesium right here. It's um, basically it. A bunch of supplies, whatnot. Got rid of a couple applications off the rocks. That was fun. Well, obviously, um, how about why not? We'll, we'll see how my Aptasia job turned out. Um, let me also shut off my sump light because we don't need that on during the daytime. Yeah, I need that. Um, there was an Aptasia, right? Well, obviously my job did the trick because there was no more Aptasia right there on that rock. He was, like, right there. And now, um, there's nothing there. So, uh, there is one right there, and there's a couple others. Let's just uh, take a look at where the other ones were. And it's back here off this rock. Back in that corner right there, which there's none. And then there's one on this rock. Which I turned around. And it's gone. Alright, so uh, my Aptasia X uh, definitely did the trick for that. Uh, no Aptasias, so no stinging corals. Uh -oh. This live rock's from um, golfliverock.com. I don't know if you saw the other video, but excellent, excellent live rock. Go check them out. Uh, they have also live sand and when you get this rock, man, you really get a lot of stuff in it. Like, good potential stuff. I mean, look at, look at that. That's live. That's, that's a form of micro or macro algae growing off of my live rock. And it's actually living from shipping. Um, I mean, they got it over here really quick. And, I mean, this stuff is growing. A lot of, a lot of the stuff, you know really doesn't make it look I have another Aptasia that I actually just found right now. Uh, right there. I'm going to get them off that rock. Next video you see, that that will no longer have an Aptasia because I've just been looking here and there and finding them. Uh, the only thing, like I said, um, you find some Aptasias, but look at this thing. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, it's a red feather duster. It's right next to... Uh, this coral is right there. Um, I know my camera can't zoom in right now, but it's really cool looking. Um, anyways, yeah, besides Aptasias, um, I found a couple uh, mantis shrimp. Uh, and actually, uh, this is 100 pounds of live rock. I, uh, I only found three. And I mean, I really went through this stuff too. You know, and I've even been constantly checking my tank. Uh, actually, I found I found two when I got it out. Just pure right off the bat, I found two. And then when I started rinsing out, I threw it in the tank. Like I did a quick dip, didn't find any. Threw it in the tank, and then I found one more. So I it equaled to three. So I found three and a hundred pounds of live rock, which that isn't nothing. And I've been searching. I've been looking. Um, I guess the only true way to know is if I dig apart this rock again and see if there's any holes in the sand bed. Um, but I mean, I, I'll definitely know from sounds and them being out in the stevias and different things like that. So, other than that, everything's going good. Uh, i got to keep up with the cycling of the tank, re recycling of the tank, get my levels all right. Um, You've seen pretty much everything now. My dosing pumps, um, the apex system, the vortex system. Um, you know, still at it. Uh, eventually, this tank will be established, filled with coralline algae. And once that happens, and I get my calcium alkalinity and all that on a standard level basis with my apex system, once I get everything calibrated, I'll be running 
a hundred percent ready to fill it up with some livestock with some beautiful corals and fish um, one thing before that though after this starts establishing is going to be a full video of just invertebrates and what you want and what you don't want like from crabs to sea cucumbers to hermits um, even though those are in the crab breed but starfish um, sh shrimp tons of things that you want in your tank and what you don't want in your tank and uh, we'll go through all that later uh, for now just enjoy what I have and uh, check out the other videos on my YouTube channel uh, appreciate it keep up later